Jesus, this marriage was your idea. This really was. They are ready and they've been brought together and so many of their friends and most of their family now surrounding them and standing up and celebrating and giving a hearty yes, yes, we stand up for this marriage and we will keep standing up for it as the years and years go on and as much water flows under the bridge, Lord, um, we will continue to stand up for it. From Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. The word of the Lord. I, Caleb, take you, Julie, to be my wife. I, Julie, take you, Caleb, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow.
They did it! They tied the knot! <laughs> and today, despite the pandemic, true love has prevailed. To our beloved Julie and Caleb, the man she has chosen to share her life with, may your life together be filled with love, joy, and adventure. Here's to you.